The Nun movie is very classic gothic horror with Conjuring 2. She's like her own star. Go. And really resonated with people because from a Catholic standpoint, the idea of something that you hold really sacred could be perverted like that is what gives it the strength that it has. I've been a fan of James Wan's work since Saw and uh, his other movies. And when I saw The Conjuring, I could tell he was coming from a place of love and respect of classic horror. One thing I love about The Conjuring universe is these elevated horror stories told with grounded connections. The humans, the feeling of a real human and, and watching these characters and responding to what they go through. What I love about The Nun is that it's obviously in the same world, so it's a similar vibe to that, but it's its own thing. Nuns, they have this sort of shroud of mystery to them already. To me, they seem to be the ones with the answers, and I find that to be really compelling. I think people are so afraid of religious figures because they instill fear in people. You better be good. You better do this, because I'm closer to the Holy One than you are, and I'm going to deem you down into hell. I saw The Conjuring 2, and like a lot of the audiences, I reacted to the character of the nun. Instantly, a kind of scary, stylish, visual horror. That's a good word. Icon. And in a way, The Nun is the original hoodie horror, in that you can't see the face. It's shrouded in darkness. You're going to be looking down so we can't see your face for this shot. And three, two, one, grab! The shape of it is almost like a shark fin. I wanted to almost imitate that with the idea that our demonic nun is lurking amongst the shadows of an abbey amid other nuns. You know, if you look at the back of a nun, you don't know what she's going to look like when she turns around. Turn. Pause. Irie! You don't know what makes them tick, so anything could make them tick. Added to the fact that they live in these like beautiful old abbeys that are terrifying because there's constant creeks and corridors that lead to nowhere. And it's secluded, and anything that I think is secluded and private has the potential for fear. So it's already built in to the horror mechanisms, the idea of who is the nun behind that hood. It's been a long time since we've had somebody who can just stand in one place and evoke all sorts of tension and fear, just really unsettle you. I referenced Nightmare on Elm Street, and when Robert Englund was cast as Freddy, he really made that character instantly his own, and you couldn't imagine anyone else playing him. And I felt the same after seeing The Conjuring 2 and, and seeing this nun character. I said, who was that? Turns out it's Bonnie Aarons. The moment we saw Bonnie, with the unique geography of her face, Everybody said, this is exactly who we want. This is who it has to be. And James, working very closely with Eleanor, our makeup artist, created the look. Bonnie just really stands out. You just see this lone, lone face in the darkness. And when Corn came on, both he and James actually wanted to make her more realistic looking. So not white, but pale. A lot more veins, blue veins, red veins, just gradations of grays. Of course, she kept her amazing eyes. You can just have her walk into frame, stand there, look at you, and then walk out. It's a small movement, but it becomes a big moment. She's so powerful, and she got those big eyes, and she's so scary. The fact that that character has created so much impact is because of her, you know, because she brought up to life. I don't like the dark. I don't like being alone. So I tried my best at night to not let myself think of Bonnie's face flying at me with her wild eyes and her demonic teeth. It was hard. And this is what also I think is so very effective in this film. It's a real person, not a puppet or a CGI. <sighs> you can see my face. You can feel my emotion. I think one of the reasons Bonnie's character, this demon nun, has become so popular is because it's a contradiction. It's something so pure and so holy. And then it turns around, and you see its face, and it's the exact opposite. It's this dark, evil demon. Go. <laughs> We're fascinated with horror and uh, with this type of things because we know there's something of us inside. But some people can't control their own demons, and that's when tragedies happen. And one, and two, and three. I think one of the things that makes that so terrifying 
is because to think that someone so devout could be overcome and overrun with this evil, it means anybody can. Romania, a country perched on the precipice of time. I'm Corin Hardy, and I'm the director of The Nun, where we are filming in the deepest, darkest Romania, Transylvania. A region steeped in mystery and lore. From the rugged Carpathian mountains to the endless forests covering so much of the country, Romania beckons. Our film crew journeyed across Romania to tell the very first tale in the Conjuring movie universe. Eastern Europe, Romania in the 50s, the nun for me has a very different look to the whole film. Fog is looking good. Oh, is looking good. Gothic spires, rugged countryside, and subterranean tunnels met us at every turn. But we were determined to film the nun only as Valak would have it, from the mecca of horror itself. Located in Honodora and built in the 15th century, Corvin Castle, one of the largest castles in Europe, is one of the seven terrors of Romania. It provided us with the perfect exterior for the Abbey of St. Carter. And here we go, in action! The locations here are imposing and scary. It makes it real, it makes it visceral, and all of those things a good horror movie should be. When you step into a set that real, I mean, those places have a soul, have a real history. I couldn't think of a better place to shoot a horror film. We spent a week here capturing hangings, hauntings, and terrors in the night. You could almost hear the screams of those tortured here so many centuries ago, echoes of a violent history. Some of the locations are up all these winding tunnels and hallways and, and tiny little staircases. To be able to feel the coldness from the walls and, and go through the darkness and not be able to see it, it helps transform the whole movie. Yes, a deverește această cuterie pentru ca aceia care au crezut în Dumnezeu să aibă grijă să fie în frunte la fapte bune. Ca acestea sunt cele bune și de folos oamenilor, iar de întrebările nebune și de însușiri. When you walk through the hallways of this place, especially in the evening, you can feel it. There's a life force here, you know. There are many, many people lived in this castle and died in the bowels of this castle. From Honodora, we traveled over 200 kilometers east to Krish, where another Transylvanian relic has stood for centuries, Bethlehem Castle. A graveyard fit for James Wan's movie universe sprang to life here, as did the nun quarters, Father Burke's bedroom, and the ice house, where a demon waits for the perfect moment. There's beauty to these locations. I think there's also an inherent creepiness, just because of the history that's there, the things that must have occurred on these grounds. You know, they're ghosts of their own. When you're dealing with a world that pushes the boundaries on reality, it's really important to have a grounded connection. It's amazing that we were able to shoot in Romania and Transylvania because it already authentically has that, that eerie energy, that Gothic look. Romania is a faraway country from the U.S. Beautiful, fascinating. They have created such a fantastic atmosphere. It's magical. 300 kilometers south to Mogoshoya Fortress, built in 1968 in the classic Romanian Gothic style.
It is here where Father Burke meets Sister Irene before setting off on their journey, and the film crew was glad to have a day in the sun. For the remainder of the shoot, we would be in the shadows. Nearby, buried to the south of Bucharest, are the Mogo Forts, tunnels of medieval rot and decay, where we rigged one of the film's set pieces. When Sister Irene is held aloft while the demon nun tries to possess her. This in-camera film trick took all the cunning our film crew could muster, and all the bravery from our stars to outrun advancing demon nuns. Ancient Europe, ancient evil. As a genre fan, I, I want to see classic Gothic horror storytelling. For a horror fan, it's like Mecca in a lot of ways. Romania herself truly was a character in The Nun, and we couldn't have made it without her. Like Valak, she was with us at every turn, casting us deeper into her gruesome horrors.